Hey everyone, it's Phoebe here, and we have some amazing new features in Quo that will help you be more productive and creative at the same time. So let's jump on in and have some fun while we learn all about this new 2025.1 release. Drawing on the avatar using our 3D pen tool allows for you to create ideas within Quo even without pattern knowledge. With this update, we have expanded the tool to allow you to create garments that have volume within them, instead of only drawing directly on the avatar. Simply use the shortcut P and start drawing off the avatar. All of the other great shortcuts will still be available to you along with some new ones, like adding a circle around the avatar or showing the distance from your point to the avatar. And before you know it, you will have drawn a garment within Clo. Using the flattening tool to translate these lines into patterns, Clo will then sew and arrange the patterns on for you. Start adding fabrics and just like that, you have a garment. The tedious work of creating washes is over. Now within Clo, there are eight different denim wash presets for you to adjust and test out within Clo. Unwashed, rinse, Enzyme, Stone, Acid, Bleach, Ozone, and Custom are all the different wash options that you now have access to. Each wash will have different slider options to adjust based on the selected wash. Each wash will have a cycle time option and a seam abrasion option. If you want to use your own maps for a wash, the custom option is for you. Here you can add in your own map and use the sliders to adjust the wash accordingly. When adjusting the cycle time option, the longer the time, the lighter the wash will become. For all the wash options, you will also be able to change the colors as well. Create custom visual realistic looking denim within minutes that will wow all. Ever wanted to test out different textures and colors within the pattern without going through the work of cutting and sewing the pattern pieces? Now you can. This feature was specifically designed to help out all our knitwear designers and get closer to designing and creating seamless garments within Clo. With a multitude of different workflows to create these new seamless blocking lines, the options are endless for creating seamless garments. The tracing tool will trace out internal baselines to seamless lines. Edit pattern tool will allow you to offset as a seamless line. Finally, the seamless line tool itself will allow you to create seamless lines on your patterns. Going into the object browser, you can either assign the fabric or drag and drop it onto the pattern. You will also have the ability to adjust the lines you create in using the edit or transform pattern tools. You can also adjust the texture within each seamless block panel through the edit texture tool, both individually or collectively. By the end, I can create a much more interesting garment quickly and easily, all without cutting a single pattern. Now that's what I call seamless. Now you can apply soft body to non-skeleton OBJs. Opening up a whole new world of options like pillows or foam. You can see here when turning on the soft body, the shape of the avatar actually adjusts and changes due to the fabric. This improvement could also be applied to trims like shoulder pads. Bringing in these as an OBJ, I can apply the soft body effect to them and now a foam like effect is applied. Using the slider, I can control the softness amount improving the realism of the garments created within Clo. We have updated our schematic render option for top stitches to make a more sketch-like feel to help support tech packs better. Within the top stitch property editor, you can turn on the option of schematic scale and start to edit different visual options like length, spacing, offset, thickness, width, and distance making the top stitches much easier to view and see within the schematic render. In Clo, we have updated our library further. 
The new library is still in the upper right hand corner, but now when you open it, you will see an entire new tab just for Connect. Within this tab, you will be able to view all your purchases along with all of the great assets that are within the website. Using the filter option, you can filter through all of the available assets within Connect and narrow down on what you are specifically looking for. We have also improved our layout of Closet within the new library to mimic our Closet layout, making it easier to navigate and find your projects. All our generative AI features can now be found within the AI button next to the library for easier access to our AI suite. The process and steps to use these AI features have not been changed. Here, I will use the AI Render Enhancer as an example. Just as before, I can upload a rendered image into my workspace. Using the prompt section, I can cycle through different AI faces by either writing in or auto-generating random prompts. Once a face is chosen, you can preview this and even continue to refine the image using our updated refinement options to get an even more realistic looking face. The new background option from our last release can also be found here. I can bring in an image and preview it, or I can ask Glow to generate a background and preview those options. Once happy with the result, I can save out these images and use them anywhere. From 2025.1 and onward, by default, all AI features will be deactivated. If you wish to use AI, you will need to activate it manually. For individual users, this can be found through your My page. For enterprise users, this can be found through your account page. You will now have the option to save out selected patterns and trims as a garment, making it easier to take separate parts of a project file and add them into other project files. Like here, I would like to add this across bag into another project file I have. Now with this feature, I can easily do this and create a complete outfit quickly. We have added a zipper tab within our object browser, allowing you to now save out a trim as a whole option and also apply trims quickly and easily within your workspace. You will be able to edit and adjust parts of the zipper individually still and also edit it as a whole all within the property editor. We have combined the fabric creator with our seamless texture generator to become one Clo Fab. This will also connect to our new ZFab kit available for pre-order now. Within Clo Fab, you can create your fabric information at the very top and then go into our map section and bring in your PVR maps. Using the same process as our seamless texture generator, you can then start to create a seamless repeat either using close help or manually. Once you have the repeat you like, you can then move into the physical properties and follow the same process as the fabric creator. Add in the fabric type, composition, and weight, and then see the drape change in real time. Once happy with your fabric physics and visuals, you can then save this out as one ZFab with all the textures and physical properties combined. This can then be brought into your object browser and applied to your garment like so. Now when adding a project or garment, you will be able to choose which colorways to add. If there are less colorways in the current file, Clo will simply add the first colorway to the remaining, allowing you to add and adjust the additional colorways. Grading within Clo has never been easier. Now within Clo, you can choose which points should or shouldn't be graded. Through the right-click option, either convert to a non-graded point or graded point. If the point becomes non-graded, then it will follow the grading rules of the graded point closest to it. This will also apply to curve points. We hope this makes grading easier for everyone within Clo. Within 2025.1, we have updated our plotter snapshot options further. Adding in the ability to color code the lines 
along with applying different line styles, we hope this will increase the usability of the plotter files themselves to more than just printing and maybe even cutting machines, making production within Clo more achievable. Now within Clo, you can export and import standard DXFs, allowing for more DXF options and more interoperability within other CAD softwares. Within the DXF export or import pop-up in the drop-down menu, there will now be a DXF option. This will be for standard or classic DXF files. Our pattern drafter has expanded with its AI capabilities to now be able to read any image, not just a sketch outline. Now you can drop in a picture of a garment you like, and then the pattern drafter will draft a pattern from that image alone as you can see here. You of course can keep editing it around using the measurements and once happy, you can select create and then the garment will automatically be arranged and sewn on the avatar for you. A really nice improvement we have made to our 2D CAD tools is the ability to now extend to the half symmetric line on half symmetrical patterns, making it so you no longer have to deal with the duplicate internal lines making editing internal lines even easier. We have increased our notch options in 2025.1. Our property editor now has more dropdown options for the notch placement. And we have also updated visual options within the user settings for notches. This will help with standardizing how all users across a company view notches. We also hope these improvements to our notch applications and visuals will elevate our software to be more production accurate and ready. The features you have seen here are just some of the updates we have added in for our 2025.1 release. There are many more as you can see. So check out our manual or our deep dive videos and learn more about all of the features you have seen here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning all of our updates for 2025.1 and enjoyed using Clo as much as we enjoyed working on it. If you wanna learn more about each of these new features, check out the deep dive playlist on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again and keep having fun in Clo.